an artist, you know, you it's amazing that you get this opportunity to kind of capture different moments of the human experience and your personal experience. And for us, what we found that's truly incredible is something that feels really personal can be really universal, you know, whether it's the feeling of loneliness or sadness or joy. Um, so you just, as an artist, you do your best to capture that when it happens to you and to express it. Um, I think for us, the challenge is that we enjoy is creating something lyrically and musically that's open enough that other people can bring their experiences to it. And what we really enjoy about that is when audience members come up to us afterwards and fans and they say, you know, this is what that song means to me. It's always kind of amazing because people will, they'll come up and ask, like, what was that song about? And they'll kind of want our, our input on it. And But then there are other times when people will come up and, and they will share their stories with us. and we've heard some incredible stories from people that have been touched by our music or just just have really enjoyed it and some of the stories that you hear it's it's so heartbreaking but so inspiring at the same time that it's almost like wow I never I never would have thought of that for this song specifically and they give you a completely different perspective mm -hmm. yeah. Often Eva will be the one who has like a lyrical idea or or a musical idea or both combined that she'll bring to us. Sometimes it's a finished song, sometimes it's just a concept, and we either finish it with her or we orchestrate around what she's brought to us. And we'll definitely butt heads in the process, but usually the thing that happens that makes it is a, sh a shell song is, you know, we have all these different ideas and then we combine them and together they're greater than they were on their own. 100% I think that's the true beauty of collaboration is the humility that's necessary to facilitate it because you will not get something that is, I think, an expression of four different individuals if you're so concerned about controlling the outcome. But if you're open and humble about it and you put it out there, which is always a struggle. Always, Every yeah. time yeah, it's always. a struggle to let go. I think what you get in the end is is powerful, but what you get when you're like concerned about holding on to it is unsuccessful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just everyone storming around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. screw that. I'm quitting the board. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> awesome. Any other questions? Um, is this, is this the, the one that needs to be off the record, the though? Yeah. yeah. Well, before that question, then will you guys like? You don't even have to sing a whole song, but will you sing something for like as long as you want to sing? It can yeah. be really short. Sure. Do you do just a little bit of Gregory? Yeah, sounds sure. good. Cool. I'll try to I'll try to sing it in the correct key. This is a song by Gregory Allen Isakoff. He's one of our favorite writers. Oh, oh. <laughs> Check this out. Excellent. Nailed it. <laughs> it's called the stable song. Remember when our songs were just like prayers? Like gospel hymns that you call in the air. Come down, come down, sweet reverence. Unto my simple house and ring and ring. Ring like silver, ring like gold. Ring out those ghosts on the Ohio. Ring like clear day wedding bells. Were we the belly of the beast or the sword that fell? We'll never tell. That's so beautiful. <laughs> I don't know why that like, made me cry. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> like, I was like, 